Hi guys, it's Will from Madison Oakley and I hope you're all keeping well. Um, probably a fairly serious post today, uh, given we've had a number of questions from people asking us how uh, the coronavirus may well affect the property market. So um, if you're buying or selling at the moment, you might find this um, video useful because we're just going to give you a bit of an idea of how it may well affect the property market um, and what uh, you can do to protect yourself, protect your train, um, again, whether you're buying or selling at this, this present time. Um, so what what will happen is um, transaction times, I think if, if this spreads as, as everyone is predicting, um, transaction times will be a lot more drawn out. You know, we're gonna see a significant slowdown in the the legal systems in the legal process. Um, that's not only you know solicitor firms who may um, be going off work, but um, you'll have other third parties relating to that. Local authorities who will um, typically um, obtain solicitors will obtain searches through drainage search, local authority searches, and their uh, their times for responding to those inquiries will will go up. Um, you'll probably also find that mortgage companies, if you're buying with a mortgage, their their um, transaction times again in terms of processing your applications through building banks and building societies. I mean, typically they're going to be big organisations, big call centres. Um, they may well be shutting down totally. So um, you just we've just got to be aware that transaction times are going to be drawn out. Um, these companies are, are going to be up against it so uh, it's going to be important to um, certainly bear that in mind as, as we move forward. Uh, buyer and seller activity, um, I mean if you're buying there's probably going to be uh, a lack of opportunity to go and see these properties if, if people are self-isolating within their homes. Um, from a seller's Selling perspective: If you're a seller, then you know buyer activ activity is going to drop right off because people aren't going to be out and about uh, as you would expect. Um, so just be aware from an activity level, you can potentially start to start to already see that as well in terms of um, you know people's worry towards this. And that brings us on to a third point: you know people are going to be nervous, um, and when people get nervous. Uh, they become a bit uncertain um, of what to do. They pull back. Uh, you might even find, and I hate to say it, that you've just got to be prepared that um, fall throughs may occur during this period. Uh, nervous buyers, uh, nervous times, they can just react to market uncertainty. Um, we're going to see a lot of scaremongering out there. I'm sure we'll see the tabloids reporting that coronavirus has affected property prices by you know, X amount, the property market drops, right move inquiries are probably going to be down. I mean, they might be up if everyone's at home. Um, but we're certainly going to see a, a near term slowdown rather than an absolute loss in business. Um, but I will just say that it's going to be important to be pragmatic in these situations. Um, you know, no one's going to know how to react and we're not going to know how big this is going to get. So it's just going to be a case of being really pragmatic um, in involving and, and being involved within the chain if you are at this this stage. Um, there are going to be a, a huge amount of you who are out there involved in the chain. You know, you've sold yours, you've bought your own, you're waiting for the chain to come along. That, there's, the, the, you just don't know what's going to happen. So um, what would I be doing? Um, I would certainly be communicating straight away with my solicitor and my agent just to say, look, um, you are fully committed to this. You don't want to lose the buy. You don't want to lose the sale. You don't know what's going to happen, um, but you're there to cooperate. Uh, make sure they're communicating this throughout the chain and just preempting what might happen. Get them to send emails out to all parties saying, they're still here at the moment. We don't know what's going to bring, but we're still here. It still has our attention. Everyone's still fully invested in the transaction. Um, manage expectations. That's always important. And we don't know, you know, we don't know how long, um, if it is going to blow up, how long it may take for things to subside. But um, it's going to be very difficult to plan. Um, so any planning that you may have already done, again, get in touch with those um, firms, removal companies, if you're looking to move, get in touch with those firms and, and just keep, keep the dialogue, keep in touch because, you know, they're not going to know what's going to happen. But um, as long as they know you're there, they're probably not going to let you down if things start to start to move forward. So um, hopefully that will just give you a bit of a, an idea of what, what sort of impact 
um, and how you can just prepare ourselves for, I think, uh, like any situation, communication is key. So just get in touch. Um, communication and reassurance, and if you're doing that throughout your chain or the transaction that you're involved in, um, then you'll have uh, you'll certainly stand a better chance of, of keeping that all together. Um, if you do have any questions or curveballs that need answering during this period, then do give us a shout, um, give us a call, drop us an email, um, and hopefully it won't affect us all uh, as much as we say it will. And stay safe. Speak soon. Thanks.